Hey, what is going on guys, and it is your boy Phoenix here today, and I'm sure you guys have already heard the news about Call of Duty 2017. Sledgehammer has, you know, alluded to the fact, and almost pretty much confirmed, that Call of Duty 2017 will be a boots on the ground game. And, you know, uh, first of all, I find this really ironic, considering Sledgehammer are the ones who actually introduced, you know, this EXO advanced movement system with an advanced warfare, and then carried on for two more generations of Call of Duty. And, uh, you know, now we're going back to classic Call of Duty. I just find that a little bit ironic, but nevertheless, we are getting a Boots on the Ground title, 99% sure of that. So let's get into it, here are 5 things that Call of Duty 2017 needs to do to please their fans and succeed. Now, number 1 on this list is seemingly obvious, and I think we can all agree with this, we want to be taken back to a previous era, a previous point in time somewhere in our history, it doesn't even have to be factual, we just want to escape this future warfare, this advanced, you know, universe, which the these games have been creating for the past three years in a row. First we had Advanced Warfare, second was Black Ops 3, and most recently Infinite Warfare, each game pushing further into the future, which, you know, it was obvious that the space theme wasn't resonating well with the audience, and Sledgehammer themselves admitted that, so hopefully now if there's knowledge, they can they can use that to help create an amazing game in an amazing era. And we've seen with Battlefield 1 how popular the Cold War World at War era was. That game blew up, and, you know, it kind of shunned Call of Duty to the side. Now, it would be interesting to see what would happen if Sledgehammer followed the same path as Battlefield 1 and brought us a Cold War era shooter or even a Vietnamese styled shooter that would be really awesome to see and what would be even more awesome is that all these next gen players all these new gen Call of Duty players as we call them from Ghost onwards have only had the three advanced movement games and Ghost so we've had a modern Call of Duty and three future Call of Duties and we've had a fair share of modern Call of Duties as well we have the Modern Warfare series don't forget so I think taking it back in time would be refreshing for everybody would reintroduce some of the older players back into Call of Duty perhaps and you know show these new gen Call of Duty players a new style of Call of Duty something refreshing for everybody now number two on the list is we need a fast-paced Call of Duty if any of you guys have played Modern Warfare Remastered and then jumped onto Infinite Warfare it's a blatantly obvious change of pace within the two games okay you have Infinite Warfare where you exo jumping around everywhere wall running and sliding and dashing and whatever have you and then you have this more slow methodical Modern Warfare Remastered, where you die in a bullet or two, okay? So, they need to find a balance, alright? They need to have a boots on the ground game, which is still fast paced. And you're probably wondering, Venix, how, how are you going to do that if you can't double jump or wall run? Well, take Infinite Warfare, for example. They've incorporated so many mechanics into the game, which allows for fast paced action, okay? And they don't all involve advanced movement. So, for instance, mantling while shooting, or sliding while shooting, or we can even still keep sliding within the boots on the ground game, okay? Sliding doesn't need to be removed, and that's one of the fastest ways to transverse to maps in any Call of Duty, okay? Now, all of these features and mechanics promote fast-paced gameplay. Just as the EXO movements in Infinite Warfare, Advanced Warfare, and Black Ops 3 promote fast-paced gameplay, okay? So, that audience will feel at home as well with a fast-paced gameplay, as well as the boots on the ground audience will feel a slower and more methodical, strategic style of play. Now, in order to do this, it'd be smart to keep the maps to a medium to smaller size and stick to the traditional three-lane Call of Duty map design as well, as incorporating these fast gameplay mechanics which help you move quickly and swiftly from gunfight to gunfight and area to area, all while having our boots on the ground. And this idea will please both ends of the spectrum, the old gen and the new gen Call of Duty players. Coming in at number 3 on the list is an improved supply drop system and oh my god supply drops trigger word calm down everybody supply drops are here to stay they're not going away they even put them in Modern Warfare Remastered it shows the lack of respect and you know lack of appreciation they even have for that game that they introduced the supply drops to that revolutionary game it truly was for the first person shooter genre however supply drops are obviously going to be in the upcoming Call of Duty 2017 if they're not I don't know I'll cut my dick off or something. As of recent, I feel as if Infinite Warfare has come the closest to perfecting this supply drop system. And, uh, you know, there are a few changes and amendments which could be made to, you know, take it a step further where we as the consumer are having a fun time as well as them as the provider making a large enough profit for their wallets, okay? 
and I feel as if the infinite warfare system is the best we've had yet. I feel as if maybe the drop and the earn rate could be a little bit higher for salvage and weapons and whatnot, and I feel as if variants don't really have a place in Call of Duty. I feel as if they make the game unbalanced and broken. I believe that it'd be better just to introduce new weapons and new content rather than having a different variation of a particular weapon. That's just my personal opinion though. So in Call of Duty 2017, it'd be good to see a similar system implemented such as the Infinite Warfare Supply Drop system. However, with increased salvage and increased drop rate of weapons, and if we just, you know, flat out removed weapon variants, I don't, they don't belong in Call of Duty. They, they just don't really go well, okay? So remove the weapon variants, increase the drop rate, and I believe that the fans might not hate supply drop so much then. Coming in at number four is throwback weapons and nostalgic perks. Nostalgic perks such as commando, sleight of hand, perks which have been in Call of Duty since the ground roots up, okay? We need these reintroduced, re-implemented into this current game. We need to captivate the old audience which Call of Duty had, the old thriving fan base. We need to bring them all back in and move them with the new gen and I believe the best way to do this is you know introduce throwback weapons from previous Call of Duties into the new game as well as old perks and just make it as close to the old style Call of Duty as possible you know and the best way to do this is go about it with the weapons and the perk system so these older players can reminisce on the good times when the previous Call of Duties come to the current Call of Duty in 2017 and have a fantastic time on there just like they did in Modern Warfare 2, Modern Warfare 1, Black Ops and all those older Call of Duties. Bringing back that Call of Duty classic nostalgia feel for these players is so crucial in the game's success, okay? As well, this would be great for the new gen players as they'd get to experience something fresh and exciting and different. They've had the same game for three years in a row now. I, I think they also deserve something new. Now to the final thing that Call of Duty 2017 needs to do to be successful is have a fantastic third game mode. So obviously have your campaign, multiplayer, and then previous years it's been Extinction, Exo Zombies, Zombies, and Zombies. Now the question is, are we going to have Zombies again? I feel as if we will. Infinite Warfare Zombies has actually gone over fairly well with the Zombies community, and the Zombies community isn't an easy community to please by any means. They want to ride Treyarch's dick until the sun's up, okay? And Infinity Ward brought its fans an amazing Zombies experience within Infinite Warfare. At least, that's in my opinion. I feel as if it does most certainly compete with Treyarch Zombies. There are the similarities and they do have their differences, however they are both amazing in their individual strengths, okay? And it's going to be hard for Sledgehammer to come in here with arguably the worst third game mode, which was Exo Zombies and try and top these two and be the alpha out of them. So, Sledgehammer I'm honestly wishing you guys good luck for this. Hopefully you guys kill it because the Zombies audience is just only getting larger and no matter what your third game mode is the Zombies audience is going to play it, whether it be Extinction or Exo Zombies or whatever, but if you guys really want it to blow up, I would recommend sticking to Zombies and making it a fucking awesome experience, okay? There we have it, guys. Five things Call of Duty in 2017 needs to do in order to succeed. Drop a like on today's video if you guys agree with any of these points, and let me know in the comments down below if you guys have any of your own opinions on what Call of Duty 2017 needs to do to succeed, and what you'd like to see in the upcoming title. Anyway, guys, it has been your boy Phoenix. Like, comment, rape, and subscribe. Don't do the second last one. And as always, have... Marvelous day.